Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl here, Glow by Sha. So I'm gonna be doing a review today. Um, I'm gonna be reviewing the Fenty Beauty Snap Shadows. I've purchased two. I couldn't purchase all of them because <laughs> I ain't got money in the bank like that you know <laughs> so I've only just purchased two um, I am thinking to purchase another one but I just want to see how these two um, get on so um, I've got the shades smoky so it's got like smoky shades like cool neutral shades um, a black sparkly sh um, shadow and then I'm gonna be reviewing the deep neutral shadow which is just neutral shades um, I'll show you how it looks like this is how it looks like so you've got four matte shades and you've got two shimmer shades so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing a look on the deep neutral shade I'm gonna be doing like a soft glam type of look um, so yeah I'm gonna get on with doing the my foundation um, my concealer but I'm gonna fast forward it a little bit because obviously I just want to see I want you guys to see how the shadows actually look like and how it blends in um, so guys these eyeshadow palettes actually retail for about 25 pounds each um, and the the cool thing about this eyeshadow palette is the fact that you can actually bring about six free five of the eyeshadow palettes together and it's still not going to take up so much space in your um your bag so it is travel friendly in terms of the way that you can snap them both together yeah i think i think i did it yeah there you go and then you will have both eyeshadow palettes side by side which is pretty 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 cool that is like so cool of Rihanna to do that. And it's just kind of convenient, do you know what I mean? Like having to bring like all of your eyeshadow palettes, you can actually bring all six of them and um, they have all of the colors that you need. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, so I'm gonna start off by doing my foundation and I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty um, foundation in the shade 420. I am not too sure if this is my shade. I've never actually tried one of her foundation, um, but I think it should be fine. If not, I'm gonna just mix it in with another foundation that I have. So I actually totally forgot that I was meant to prime my face. So I'm not actually gonna apply my foundation just yet. I'm gonna use the Pro Filter Instant Retouch um, primer by Fenty Beauty so this is how it looks um, I have oily skin and it does say that it mattifies the skin so I'm just gonna put in the areas like in my t-zone it is quite creamy I don't know if you guys can see but the texture of it is very creamy it's quite different to all the other primers that I've used in the past gonna apply the foundation now on the back of my hand gonna shake it up a bit it does look like it's <laughs> it will be my shade but let's just see I already started baking my face. I know I look crazy. Um, I'm gonna now um, bronze up my face with um, the Fenty Beauty Coco Naughty um, bronzer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze up my face. And then we can go on to the eyes. gonna go ahead and do my eyes now the exciting bit so I'm just gonna set my eyes using um, my concealer and then I'm just gonna blend that in with a brush I'm just gonna go ahead and set that as well um, I'm gonna actually use the Fenty Beauty Cashew Powder. I'm just gonna apply a little bit using that same brush to be honest. Um, I'm just gonna apply that 
just to set it and get rid of the um, creases. I zoomed in a little bit so that you guys can actually see how the eyeshadow um, looks like. So the colours of the um, the name the name of the colours of the shadows are on the back of the sh eyeshadow palette. So you can just see here. Um, it is quite hard to read because I feel as though I have to like look upside down um, for the name of it. So I'm just gonna grab the lightest shade, the night lightest matte shade, which is, oh, see, it's so confusing, Nude Beauty, just here. Um, so this is the shade I'm talking about, just here. So I'm just gonna use that on, on my crease first as the lightest um, transition color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use that using a blending brush. Um, So this is really faint, like you won't be able to see this shade, but you can see it if that makes sense. But it's always, with eyeshadow, it's always best to kind of like, I like to just build up first. So I'd like to use the lighter shade in the palette and then work my way up. I would say with this shade, it's kind of like my skin tone complexion. So if I was like doing like a natural everyday, I probably would like slap on this eyeshadow and some lashes. I feel like it's not that there's fallout but I feel like as I'm like dipping my brush onto the palette there is a little bit of fallout on the palette if you can just see just a little bit coming out which is quite normal but so I'm then going to use the orange shade which is this one here this one um that one is called again see I have to literally like put it upside down to get the name of the um, eyeshadow um I think this one is called Fire Freak. Um, Rihanna's got some funny names. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna up apply that next. But the texture of it is quite different. It's not so like, I can't explain, it's like, not so powdery it's like when i'm applying it there's like minimal like barely barely any fallout on my um under my cheek and what i like to do when i'm applying eyeshadow is like go to like do like a circle and then go back i think they call it wind sing circular motion or something like that i don't know but i just do that really fast so i want to deepen it a little bit so i'm actually going to use the purple shade here so I'm going to use the purple shade, which is called, okay, this one is called, I think this one is called Shots Fired. Yeah, I think this one is called Shots Fired. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on the inner um, corners. So I had to go get another brush because the brush that I got was like an angled brush and it wasn't working out for me. But as I was saying, I'm just going to go ahead and use the shade Shots Fired, which is like a purpley matte shade just here. And I'm just going to put that in the inner, just to deepen up the crease a little bit more. But I'm going to put it more on the, the um, wing area, like a V area here. So you just want to do that, this motion. You can bring it up a little bit. But yeah, I'm going for like a soft glam look. So I don't want to be doing too much. I want to kind of play around with the matte colors. I just want to go back to that brush that we used the purple shade and just kind of apply a little bit more. Just so that you can see the transition. Now I'm just going to go ahead and use um, concealer 
just here so we're not doing a cut crease it's just kind of to, to brighten this area here before we put the shimmer shade So I'm gonna apply a shimmer shade with a brush first. Um, so the shimmer shade that's screaming at me right now is the um, this sh shimmer shade here, uh, this one here. So um, that one is called Heaven Scent. So I'm just gonna apply that first. So um, going back to the um, blended brush where we use the um, crease shade, I'm just gonna again go back What I wanna do is apply, you know the, um, this is like a dot, oh, I've just dented it. Um, this is just a dark brown, don't mind then, it's like a dark brown shimmer shade. So I'm actually going to apply that just in between here, just here. Just a tad, not too much. So I'm just going to... Use the Maybelline, um, which one is this? It's a coal liner. So this is just a brown coal liner here. So this is how it looks. I love this. Like anytime I wanna do like a soft glam look, this is what I opt for. So I'm just gonna grab a, a mirror and I'm just gonna line my lid. Also do this with um, black liner. I've got a black one here actually, I can show you guys. This one I just got from PAX, but you can also use a black liner and do this trick. But I don't wanna use black, I wanna use brown because it just softens the look a little bit more. And obviously then you wanna set that using a brown eyeshadow. So. The brown eyeshadow I'm actually going to be using, let me just grab a brush, the Sigma brush, it's a smudge brush, so this is how it looks, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's pretty much like a smudge brush, I don't know if the camera's going to focus, it's not, okay, it's being an EOP, forget it, <laughs> but it's pretty much a, a smudge brush, so it's perfect for this type of um technique so i'm gonna go back to that brown shade here and i'm just gonna uh, smudge that in So guys, this is pretty much the finished look. I really hope that you found this review really helpful just to kind of figure out which eyeshadow palettes you do want to purchase. Obviously, there is more eyeshadow palettes, as I mentioned. But yeah, uh, make sure you switch on your post notifications on because I am going to upload another video using the Smoky palette. But yeah, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.